Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Fiaren and today I want to talk about the recent exploit that I've basically seen all over Reddit, all over Twitter. I don't tend to watch videos on exploits. Um, you can always tell if the video is about an exploit because it kind of says it in the title. I don't want to know how to do any exploits, I don't want to share how to do any exploits, I don't care about exploits, in my opinion it's cheating and there's no other way around it. However, there isn't there is a recent exploit that I want to talk about and it's basically the one where you can is it duplicate silver or you can duplicate loot or it's something as I said guys I've never I don't really watch videos on exploits I don't really watch videos on skull and bones I just do videos on it and I kind of learn my own way around however this exploit so the community is divided the skull and bones community is divided because on one hand You've got those who are doing the exploit who says, well, it's so hard to make silver, I have to do the exploit. It's false. <laughs> it's not hard to make silver. It's really not. I've uploaded a couple of videos on how to make silver. If you don't want to check them out, that's fine. But I have tried to help and shared my uh, method of making silver. And I'm currently on 11 million silver. It's not quite the 2 billion that people are, have currently got because of the exploit. But 11 million is more than enough. Also, the same people are saying, I've got 600,000 pieces of eight and I've got nothing to spend them on. Stop emptying your manufactories then. You only need to empty a certain amount to get your weekly amount of sovereigns and then you don't have to empty them all. So you don't have to waste silver emptying them because you don't even know if the pieces of eight are going to reset or not. So all these excuses for doing these, this silver exploit is all just dumb. They're not even excuses. It's just people cheating and trying to get away with it. The exploit is cheating. No matter how you look at it, that's how I see it. Let me know your thoughts down below though, because it's, it's nice to have discussions about this stuff, but keep it respectful between each other, guys. So, if you've seen the title of the video, should people be banned for doing the exploit? Now, Skull and Bones has only just basically kicked off. We're still in Season 1, and there's already an exploit, and people have taken full advantage of the exploit. So, I'm going to give my opinion, but again, guys, let me know your opinion down below. So, in my head, in my mind, in my opinion, this is an exploit. Exploiting the game is completely against the terms and conditions. And it even says you can get potentially banned for doing any kind of out, um, exploit that you gain an advantage with. As I said, an exploit is something that I will never be a part of. I don't like exploiting. I don't like cheating. I like to play the games in, in my own way, in my own currencies, whatever it may be. And my opinion on this whole exploit is yes, you should be banned. It's easy to see, and Ubisoft will have on their system if it's done accidentally, right? Because it's not, okay, so you've got two people. You've got A and B. Let's just call them A and B. A sinks B. B then sinks A. A then sinks B. B then sinks A. A then sinks B. And so on and so on. And it carries on. And they'll be looking at the time between each sink to know if it's done on purpose or not. They'll be looking at various other factors, the amount of loot that's um, that's being duplicated, and then they'll have on their system that A and B have gone and sold all of their loot and made billions of silver. And then nine times out of ten, because it's an exploit and they gain silver, it becomes addictive. So they start doing it again. A sinks B, B sinks A, A sinks B, B sinks A. And that is basically how they see if it's done on purpose or by accident. If it's by accident, there's usually a certain time period in between each shink. Whereas if it's done on purpose, there's not much of a time period between each shink. You go and meet up, you're probably outside of a fast travel point, and you just meet up there. You do whatever you do to activate it, I don't know. And then you just sink each other. However, if you're actually in a PvP battle, a real PvP battle, that battle will last significantly longer. 
simply because you might be running away or sailing away sorry you might be struggling to hit you might be healing etc etc now I know a lot of people are saying why can't they just do a rollback they could do a rollback and take away everyone's stuff whatever is that really fair though is it fair to let cheaters cheat just to give back everything which they've already spent the silver and got multiples of everything in the entire game so a rollback would stop them basically buying all that and getting all that server but it won't discourage cheating that's why i think a ban needs to happen to anyone whether you're a youtuber i don't how many youtubers have uploaded the video i don't know but whether you're a youtuber a ubisoft partner an average player a hardcore player a new player if you have done any exploit if Ubisoft wants Skull and Bones to be taken seriously, they have to do the ban wave right now. That's what I think. Ubisoft and Skull and Bones, sorry, has only just actually begun. So even if they did a ban wave now, it wouldn't be that d detrimental to the game. Because honestly, you see people saying, I'm quitting until season two and all that. So it won't be that detrimental. The more content that gets put into the game, the more players that will come. It's, it's season one, so I'm not too bothered about the lack of content. I'll play the game. I'll, I'll, I'll just play it however I want it. The core gameplay is there, so a ban wave won't affect it too much. And if you are cheating in a game, don't you deserve to be banned? Like, genuinely speaking... From an honest gamer who doesn't cheat at all and will never show anyone how to cheat, isn't it fair that the cheaters, the exploiters, whatever you want to call them, isn't it fair that they actually get banned? So future players and we know never to do it. And then we'll take Skull and Bones nice and serious. They care about the game. They want cheaters gone, etc. Let me know your thoughts down below. I think this is going to be a really cool discussion. Are you with me? Are you against me? Let me know down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.